Hey, how you doing, econ students? This is Jacob Clifford. Now, you've watched my videos covering the cost curves, and you think you're ready for your next quiz or your exam. But let's make sure I made this video to help you practice. I've got a graph and six questions just like the ones your teacher or professor is going to give you. So here we go. Good luck. Okay, how'd you do? Did you do well? Let's go over the answers. Remember, cost curves aren't that hard. You just need to practice until eventually you can see all those different boxes. Total cost, variable cost, fixed cost. It takes a little bit of time, but eventually you're gonna get it. For question number one, all you have to do is go up to the average total cost at eight units. So 23 times eight. That's $184 of total cost. And more importantly, you should be able to see the box. It's right there. For number two, to find the total variable cost of four units, you go up to the average variable cost at four. 11 times four is $44. Question three is a little bit more tricky because you don't have an average fixed cost curve, but remember the vertical distance between the average total cost and the average variable cost is the average fixed cost. So $24 minus $12 gives you an average fixed cost of $12. You multiply that times six, and that gives you a total fixed cost of 72. Again, the goal here is eventually start seeing the boxes. So at six units, there's a fixed cost, the variable cost, and the total cost. And that gives you the answer for question four. The total cost of six units is 24 times six, $144. Question five is the trickiest one. And you're not just guessing looking at the graph. You have to actually do the calculation for the average total cost. And all the information you need is right in front of you. You know the average variable cost is 17. If you could just figure out that vertical distance between the average total cost and the average variable cost, then you'd be fine. To get that, just go back to your answer in question number three. The total fixed cost is 72. Remember that the total fixed cost is always the same. So for four units, it's 72. For six, it's 72. For eight, it's 72. It's always 72. It's the fixed cost. So if you know the total fixed cost is 72 and the quantity is 10, then the average fixed cost must be $7.20. You add that to the average variable cost of 17, and you can average total cost to 10 units of $24 and 20 cents. Did you get that one? Let me know in the comments below. That's a tricky question. Moving on to question number six, your teacher professor won't ask you that many true false questions, but you do need to know the relationship between average and marginal. So this statement is false. This is wrong because the average total cost is falling as the marginal cost is increasing at this range here. What you have to remember is the average total cost is gonna decrease when the marginal cost is below the average total cost and the average total cost is gonna increase when the marginal cost is above the average total cost. And that means this point right here is the minimum ATC. And this relationship applies the average variable cost. The marginal cost hits the average variable cost at the minimum AVC. Just remember, when the marginal's below, it pulls things down. When the marginal's above, it pulls things up. Okay, there you go. Let me know in the comments below how you did out of six and if these kind of videos are helping you. If you need more help, take a look at the practice sheets and the multiple choice questions inside my ultimate review packet. It's guaranteed the best way to help you with your next quiz, test, or your final exam. Thanks for watching. Till next time.